Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, I'm bringing you a makeup tutorial on the look that you see right here. I have yet to give you guys like a dedicated fall type of a makeup tutorial, and so I wanted to sit down and do that for you guys today. So this is the look that I came up with. I think it is super, super pretty, perfect for really any time that you want, but you know, this gives me like sitting on the couch in a food coma via Thanksgiving vibes. If you know what I'm saying, this look is super, super easy to do, but definitely looks like it took you way more time than it will. And so I definitely wanted to kind of give you something that makes you look really put together, but that you can totally pair this with some sweatpants, girl, or in my case, my good old eating pants. And yeah, so that's just kind of the vibe for today's video. I really, really hope that you like it. And if you would like to find out how you can achieve this look for yourself, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we are going to start off with the eyes first and that is literally because I don't even know if you'll believe me, but honest to God you guys, I have been trying to film this video for the past two days and I know you're like, Alyssa, what do you mean that look is so basic and how you've been filmed for the past days? You guys, this was not the look I was going to bring you. My whole initial plan was to use the Natasha Denona Safari palette and I was going to use the blues and the purples and the pinks and oh my gosh, it was gonna be the prettiest look ever. And when I tell you that yesterday I tried to film and I tried three different types of looks, I tried priming my eyes different, using different brushes, different eye shapes for the shadows, nothing. Then I sat down today and was like, you know what? Yesterday was just a rough day. We're gonna try today. I tried two or three different looks and shapes with this palette, you guys. I could not get it to work. I could not get the shadows to blend and look good. The colors weren't what I wanted. The shape just wouldn't do it. And I was like, you know what? No. I was like, this is just God's way of telling me, girl, these people do not want to see no blue eyeshadow look for Thanksgiving. And so you guys are gonna get this really pretty neutral look using, you already know my favorite palette of all time, the Anastasia and Jackie Aina palette. So we are gonna get into this. So first things first, I am just going to take a Morphe M433 and I'm going to dip into the shade right here called Ginger. And we are going to lay this down all in our crease. Look at me almost hitting my eye. So we're just gonna pop this all into the crease, kind of keeping it up here, as you can see. So instead of pulling it down and making it circular, I'm gonna kind of leave it pointing out and just blend this every which way. Yeah, you guys, I know that was like a long intro, but I wish you could have seen my face. Like I was so mad yesterday and then when I sat down this morning and I still couldn't get it. I was just even more mad. And I truly think it must be the palette and the shades maybe it's a little old because um, I did get it on sale during the last Sephora VIB sale. So maybe that's some of the problem, but like I've never had that much trouble with a single palette in my life. And I was so excited because the colors are beautiful and the color story is so pretty. And I was like, oh my gosh, this will be so fun, so unique. Um, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I was like, ooh, kind of something a little bit different will be super fun, and that palette was straight up like, no girl, you do not know how to do makeup, so we're going with these neutral vibes, I mean, which is great, because who doesn't love, you know, a good neutral look, I know I do, so once you have it laid down, look in something like this, I mean, you guys, honestly, look at the way that blends, oh my god, I wish I would have had some footage from me trying from yesterday to film this, because I actually like tried filming, not just sitting here doing it and then coming on camera for you guys. <sighs> so, <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna jump into another little M433 and then I'm going to take the shade right here called Edges and we are going to kind of deepen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna dip it into there and we're going to work lower in our crease and you could technically start with this shade if you want to and then blend it out with ginger, but I just kind of the way that I went about it today. So we're going to do this. And I'm actually gonna bring this shade down right here onto the edge, keeping it going in this like upward motion because I will clean it up like I did over here. This just kind of makes it a little bit easier and pull it down onto the lid just a tad. I 
And then we're just gonna go back in with the first brush that we use and just kind of blend everything together, especially kind of like out here in this upper portion. Just blend that all together, make it nice and smooth. Okay, once you have something that looks like this, I'm going in with a Morphe M506 and I am going to dip into the deepest brown in the palette right here called Credit. And we are going to work this onto our outer V. Go in very sparingly with this product at first because I always forget how pigmented that particular shade is. And if you are not prepared, um, I did it to myself on this eye. I had to spend way more time blending because I just laid down a lot at once, which is not a big deal. Like you can totally work it out because it blends that well. But if you don't have to stress yourself out, you know, don't. So because of the way I did the eyes, normally you would keep this kind of below the crease, but I'm bringing it right up just about into the crease since I am throwing on a wing, that way the shade kind of sticks out a little more. Obviously based on your eye shape, that could be different. You definitely want to keep it below the crease. It kind of depends on the vibes and what you're going for. And if you choose to wear lashes or not, I typically bring it up a little bit higher if I'm gonna wear lashes. That way you can see the shade when my eyes are open. As you can tell that this outer corner is deeper here. Whereas if I had it too, too low, you might not be able to really see that definition. So I'm also bringing it down this way towards my lash line, just like that, kind of at a diagonal way of here, just blending. And then once I have like literally no product left and I'm just kind of moving stuff around, I will lightly take the crease area and just pull it about halfway. This just brings a tiny bit of definition. You can see it right here on this eye. Um, since I am gonna be adding glitter, uh, it's just something that I personally like. It's a look that I kind of care for when I do looks like this. But again, if it's not your vibe, keep it further on the outside. But since the tones are all very neutral, it's just kind of, a look that I typically go for so like as you can see it just brings a smidgen bit of definition in there and then I'm gonna hold there for a second go back in with the second brush that I used with the shade edges and adding no product we're just going to buff that just like this to help blend it all together these shades blend so seamlessly together so if this is a palette that you do not have in your collection especially if you're a beginner I highly highly suggest it because it is just so easy to work with. It makes blending feel like nothing at all. And so then I'm just gonna bring it down here and blend just where the brown kind of stops. Again, no product on this brush. And with that, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the shade Soleil, which is this one right up here. And I'm just gonna use my finger and pop that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take just a dab of this shade right here called Zam and pop it kind of right over the center. I'll let you know when I do it, but I, did just, I just didn't wanna pick up the palette twice. So popping Soleil on my finger and we are going to tap that onto this inner portion. So pretty, you guys. This blends in so beautifully with all the shades. So I bring it right about when the brown starts to touch and then I will take that same brush we were using and just kind of buff it a little bit. I don't add any product because I just don't think it's necessary and just kind of blend it so it looks a little something like that. And then again, I'm gonna take my finger and the shade Zam just tap it into there because it's more of a glitter than a shimmer like Soleil is. And then I'm just gonna tap that right about where those two shades meet. And the reason I decided to do this is because when I initially put Soleil all over my lid, I thought it was a little off in my opinion. Like it wasn't as warm as the rest of my eye was giving me, but I liked how bright it was. So taking Zam because it is a warmer gold and popping it kind of right in the center where the brown meets the first shimmer that we use kind of warms it up, but they all go together so well that you can't see that it's a stark difference. So it's kind of like lighter, warmer, warmest. And that's kind of what I did with that. So this is what your eye looks like. If you want to blend any in the crease, you totally can. Uh, I don't think it needs it too bad. Do keep in mind that the glitter may move a little bit. So if you don't kind of want it blending up anywhere, just 
kind of let it be. I personally don't hate when glitter is kind of like right up in the very beginnings of my crease. It doesn't bother me, but again, depends on your personal preference. And if you don't want it to do that, I definitely would recommend using a brush for the shimmers, but again, personal preference. So. What I'm gonna do now is give myself a wing. And the reason I decided to do this, you definitely don't have to do this, but correct me if I'm wrong. If ever you see somebody with a wing on, don't matter if the wing's the only thing they're wearing or their look includes a wing, you really think they did something. You really think they took the time. And you guys, it takes no time at all. So I'm gonna be using my Hank and Henry Slick With It liner. Y'all, let me tell you right now, if you take nothing from this video, Hear me now and hear me well. If you have not used this liquid liner, girl, you are missing out. This is hands down the best felt tip liner I have ever tried because literally 95% of the time when I'm using this and I'm doing a wing, it is a one swipe movement. There is just something about the tip on this, like it's not too long, it's not too short, not too fat not too skinny and the way it just moves like I will do the line and then I will connect it and literally I have never had a felt tip liner do it where I could come here and go all the way across my eye in one swipe hardly ever do I have to pick it up and remove it and it just it looks good every time as you can see here I'm doing a very 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 small wing because I am trying to keep it a little bit more neutral but I feel like it would just elevate the look and with the lashes kind of make it pop a little bit more Again, skip it if you want to, make it bigger if you want to, that's up to you. But I'm gonna throw in a ring real quick. If I keep my camera down and you can see it, you'll see it, and if not, I'll be right back because then I'm also gonna pop on a pair of lashes. And just so you guys know, I am using my House of Lashes lashes in the Style Iconic Light. These are fabulous, you guys, especially if you're doing a wing or any sort of raised eye effect because be looking so cute and look I got so excited to talk to you about my liner I did not even think to cut this so <laughs> I am also going to take I'm a mess today I'm also going to take my little cloth and just cut this just like this and this is a tip too like if you're uncomfortable with wings cutting your liner like that your eyeshadow like that will kind of help outline where your wing should go so just you know a tip for you Okay, so now that we've got both eyes done, we are going to move on to the face for a second before we work on that lower lash line. So today I'm going to be trying out this Estee Lauder Cinematic Complexion Liquid. I got this from a friend to try out. You know who you are, so thank you so much. And I have yet to test it out, so I figured today would be a good day. So I'm just going to take like one pump of this to start. Oh, it kind of came out like that weird plastic cheese. You guys know what I'm saying? We'll just... Wipe that off, that was really funny. Now, it sounds bad, but like now I look, you want some like canned plastic cheese. <laughs> Hashtag so healthy. So I'm gonna put this just on my regular places T-zone. Okay, so for foundation, I am gonna go in with my tried and true. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I am in the shade Buff for reference, and I'm going to use this. I love this foundation. I have mentioned this quite a few times on my channel, but for me, if ever I need something that I know is going to work and to last and to make my skin look flawless, this is what I reach for. If you have not tried this out, I highly, highly recommend it, especially since it's from the drugstore, so it's super affordable. Now, obviously, I'm not sure how my more dry skin girls would love this as I have oily skin, but it is definitely a full coverage foundation. They may have a luminous version. Maybe, don't quote me on that though. But I think this is the best foundation. So for concealer today, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I use the shade Fair Beige. And we are going to pop this on underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna do like a dot here, right here on the edge. And I'm doing a little less on my chin. My chin has been breaking out like crazy, you guys. Oh my gosh. I do not know why. It is driving me nuts. But so, I'm gonna try and be careful to not like blend it around too much like onto my blemishes as to not <laughs> highlight those too much, if you will. But good gosh almighty. Driving me crazy, you guys. And this is actually a little bit brighter than what I want today. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of my Milani Conceal and Perfect and just kind of dab 
some right here kind of along the edge to help blend it in with my foundation a little bit because it's a little too stark for me, girl. And so we're gonna kind of do like this. And then I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Everywhere that I put concealer, I will also put powder. Okay, so before we move on to the rest of the face, we're gonna finish up the eyes really quick just so that way I have an easier time deciding like what blush and things that I wanna use. So, what I'm going to do is I do have these ColourPop products, both a mascara and a liner in like a burgundy shade um, called Plum and Get It. I think maybe that's what they're both called. Oh, the liner is Charmer. The mascara is Plum and Get It, but they're like a purpley plummy color. And so I think for like a fun pop of color, I want to do um, kind of like a pinky purple. And in the Jackie Ina palette, they have this really pretty shade right here called Pinker. And I think that's the one I'm going to use to kind of buff underneath my eyes for like a little little thumb something so I'm gonna take this gel liner and I'm going to line my waterline I was like what is that thing called so then I'm going to take a flat definer brush this is a Morphe M432 dipping into that pinker shade and we're gonna push this right up along the lash line that's pretty they're almost like a dead ringer oh I love that okay so I'm gonna try my next step with this brush I don't know if I'm gonna like it for this but this is a Lexi 217 pencil brush I'm gonna dip right into that pinker shade again kind of saturate this because this brush is a little bit more stiff and try and buff that out a bit I don't know that I want to blow this out too much And so then I'm just going to take a Morphe M506. This literally could be the one I was using earlier. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to add anything to it. And I'm just going to hit it a little bit more to diffuse it. I didn't hate the way that brush worked, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. And I wouldn't like recommend it for that step necessarily for any of you guys. So do just keep that in mind. But ooh, ooh, I like that. So we are going to take that mascara. Again, this is in the shade Plum and Get It. And we are going to pop this on our lower lashes just to kind of keep with the theme, keep it fun. I hate, I will say, I do not like using these on the lower lash line because to me the wand is just way too big. And so I will say it's definitely not my favorite. And the formula can get a little clumpy if I'm keeping it real, but I kind of just like suck it up because I find that it's a little worth it for the for the colors but like I don't know if you guys can tell that it is getting like a little clumpy so like I will have to comb through them because it's just not my vibe okay so we need so first things first I'm gonna take my benefit hula bronzer and we are going to use this brush is this the brush I've been liking to use? I don't know. This is a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter, and I'm going to, you know, just swirl it around in there. I'm almost done with this one. I'm so excited. I hit pan on very few products in my life, so I'm like, ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it kind of in my contour area, right up in the hairline right here, and pull it lightly up on the cheeks. Y'all, look, isn't it crazy just what like a little bit of contouring can do for you? Like, Okay, so for bronzer today, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Matte Laguna Bronzer. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna start with, see if it gives me the warmth I so desperately need. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Always Rosy blush. I really like this blush, you guys. And it is quite pigmented, so do be careful about that. And I'm going to concentrate this a little bit further back on my cheeks today. Normally, you guys know I like to bring it like down and in front, but you know, we're going to try some new stuff today. We're going to see how we like it. So I'm kind of focusing it like about halfway on my cheek, kind of back and swooping it up right here. Giving me like a little bit of a facelift, if you will. Mm. And you know, I just gotta touch the nose just because like I can't help it. Throw just a little bit on the bridge right there. Boom. 
All right. Highlighter. What do we want to do today? Oh, that looks like it. Okay, so we're going to do Dose of Colors, um, Desi and Katie in Fuego. I'm going to take this Real Techniques setting brush and dab that in there. Tap it off and focus this right back here. guys yes this is the completed makeup look ooh stop it right now ooh girl mm. this look got me ready to eat don't mind my hair y'all know I don't do nothing with it ooh girl I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and you know what? You just automatically should give it a thumbs up since I told you guys in the beginning that it has been two days and like seven failed makeup attempts to get this video for you guys. So just even if it's a pity thumbs up, girl, give it to me. Definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you hit that notification bell, you will never miss an upload from me. And last but not least, you can also come follow your girl on Instagram, even though I have not posted in over a month. But I'm active for you guys. And that is at Alyssa and Pope. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.